Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Calhoun's. The college football playoffs going on, the NFL playoffs. You got a bunch of bowl games Monday. Now is the time to have friends over and watch the big games, but there's no need to cook and there's no need to clean up afterwards. The best thing you can do, get a Feed 5 or Feed 10 family pack from Calhoun's or get their party platters. I mean, there's everything. You go to their website, Calhoun's.com. You can take a look at their family their family feed, their <laughs> feed family pack, feed five, feed ten family pack, or their party platters. You can put anything in those things. Calhoun's, they do a great job, and you just have the food right there, box it all up, toss it out. Easy, easy stuff. Calhoun's. All right. I want to welcome in Josh Ward. I didn't stumble through that at all. <laughs> Josh Ward, good to have you here, and I, I actually managed to say your name correctly. Um, I asked all you guys to kind of weigh in and vote on the biggest stories of the year for 2017 in terms of UT. I think we could put all these down as kind of weird the way they played out, but I want to start. We're going to do five to one. We're going to start with number five right here, and that is the AD search, the first one. So it's really the, set, the second one. There wasn't much of a search. They just went down the hall and grabbed Philip Fulmer and said, hey, that advisor thing, can you come do the AD thing? We're talking about the first one here. Seems like forever ago that Dave Hart announced he was retiring, and then UT waited and waited and waited to hire their AD until after Chancellor Beverly, Beverly Davenport had taken over. And remember, we were wondering, well, how much say is she going to have? Turns out she had quite a bit. The people's choice was David Blackburn. I think a lot of people would have been happy with Philip Fulmer as your fallback. It was John Curry out of left field. He was the first hint that there's some boosters that were all of a sudden not in power. Peyton Manning's kind of siding with the Haslam's on who to go with. Weird stuff that first set. Your thoughts on what made that such a big story this year? How strange that first AD search went? Anybody? Yeah, what stands out to me is the people didn't get what they wanted then, which will be a foreshadowing of some of the conversation because Tennessee fans did want David Blackburn or Philip Fulmer for the most part, I think. And remember earlier in the year here on the show, John pulled up the social media reaction when John <laughs> Curry was officially announced by Tennessee's Twitter account, and it, it wasn't kind. So at the time, fans were very upset, again, overall, I think, with the decision. I thought it was pretty weird because you had, it seemed like Blackburn was the, uh, the leader in the clubhouse in December, and he was thinking about bringing Philip Fulmer aboard. He had actually talked to Fulmer about it. Then in January, it turned toward, well, it looks like it's going to be Fulmer, and he may be bringing Blackburn aboard. <laughs> Blackburn's like, wait a minute. And then you're sitting there trying to figure out which of those two is going to finish uh, first in this race, and then Curry kind of comes out of nowhere. I thought, I didn't think they were going to hire Curry because there was so much backlash from him during his previous right. day. He wasn't very popular. And he was instrumental in the former firing. So that, that kind of was a surprise to see him jump in there and get the job. Any thoughts on that first one? Yeah, I, uh, it was just a unique situation because you didn't have a chancellor that was going to get here. So right. everybody, everybody was getting the cart before the horse. Uh, there was all this time for speculation and backroom dealings and all that, but nothing was going to happen until you got a chancellor here. Yeah, I mean, I, it stands out to me, the downtime from August all the way past Christmas and like we're talking about. And then when the definition came out about how important to the search criteria it was, it must be a sitting athletic director at a Power 5 school. And I still wonder where that came from. Who came up <laughs> with that as well, that, the that deciding up, thing? That popped up when Beverly Davenport arrived. So I'm yeah. guessing that was part of her. And it also might have been, mm -hmm. again, you've seen some some booster stuff play out there. Charlie Anderson and Philip Fulmer thought they had the gig. And then Peyton Manning calling people saying, no, no, it's John Curry and I'm behind it. I mean, it was a weird situation. I wonder if there might have been some boosters who said, you know, we can get rid of Fulmer and Blackburn if we say <laughs> must be a uh, sitting Exactly, so, exactly. Uh, it was a weird situation and it, it foreshadowed a lot that was, that was coming up this year. All right, so what was number four? Well, this makes sense. Former returns. It was AD search, <laughs> non-search, number number two of the year. Uh, the coaching search fell apart. National writers were saying that Philip Fulmer and others in, at UT were somehow sabotaging John Curry's search in order to get him out and get Fulmer in. That was I've never seen that anything like that reported nationally uh, anywhere else. Then Curry was booted. It was a surprise. We were in here about to do a Fox show, our, our show on Fox 43, and all of a sudden the word came down that Curry's out, Fulmer's <laughs> in. So it was kind of a surprise there at the last minute. Now, uh, the positive is fans were happy that Fulmer was back. But, again, weird situation. You look at these things, and so many times over the years we've said, only at Tennessee. That was kind of an only at Tennessee thing. 
the coaching search went so badly, you oust your AD and you go back and get a guy who you had fired as a football coach. I don't know how many other times that's happened out there. <laughs> your thoughts on, on the return of Philip Fulmer? Resilient. <laughs> He's fired his football coach. He's all of a sudden gets his hopes up about this AD thing, you know, to start with. But no, that's not going to happen. And and uh, by golly, when, when, it, when the smoke clears, there's still a former center in that AD chair. And it wasn't just the AD chair. He's kind of like you know one of your top recruiters trying to hold some things together for that. So I mean, there there were a lot of things going on there. And even you summoned your athletic director, then John Curry, back from the West Coast. And yeah, technically, he's still not fired. Right. He's suspended without pay even now. <laughs> so, which woo. may last another month or who knows how long until they whittle that thing out. Um, on the positive <laughs> side, though, I think most fans at this point are happy with the fact that Philip Fulmer, someone with UT ties, is back in that chair. Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah. I, it would be a reversal of what I said at the beginning of the segment yeah. is the fans got what they wanted in, in this case. And, We've had, haven't we had a, just a ton of surreal moments in press conferences in Tennessee history? You think about Philip Ford when he was fired as uh, Tennessee's head coach. You think about Bruce Pearl when he was announcing his yeah. – uh, his mistakes with the NCAA, and then you have Philip Fulmer coming back as athletic director. You can go through a series of, of moments that were hard to believe, but you can believe them at Tennessee. Well, let's well and, and with each year that the Tennessee football program wasn't doing well, and with each loss that the football team incurred, Philip Fulmer's popularity kept growing and growing and growing yeah. to the point where there were so many people that were accepting of him coming back. And the fact that he has a football background, I think there were more people accepting of who he hired as well. well. I think you're right, and we'll get to all of that a little bit later as we continue our countdown. But next, it's all football. Jeremy Pruitt, John Kelly, T. Martin, John Gruden, really. Uh, recruiting, uh, we got a lot. And new guys hired to the staff. We'll show you how we think the staff's going to shape up. Come on back on the Sports Source.